tonight is the night of the really, really strong aurora. The strong. In fact, look behind me. Can you see what is going on right behind me? We had a couple of days ago. We had an alert, a forecast for the strongest auroral display to hit the air since 2005. Now. Um, it comes in, in, in um, separate uh, waves, so it's like a, a coronal mass ejection coming off the sun and all that material hits the magnetic field of the earth and it causes these amazing... Look at it, if you can see it behind me. This is absolutely unbelievable. I'm sorry if this video, there's a lot of traffic noise because I'm actually on a motorway bridge and the reason why I've come here is because when normally you're looking for the aurora, you're looking towards the north. Now, towards my north here is a service station called Lancaster Services. Forted. It's got a building there that's uh, quite uh, quite interesting. It's an old building and uh, it's called the Pennine Tower. And I thought if I could go there and capture the aurora, hopefully it's nice and clear as well. Luckily enough, it's a Friday night. We had this alert. We had a red alert earlier before it got dark. And I thought, I'm going to go there and see if I can get some light trails. I'm showing sure you a picture now of what I mean. So this is what I took earlier. Tried to give you an idea of what I mean. Okay, now there was me taking pictures and not seeing anything. All I was seeing was twilight. Now that was around about, probably about half past ten. Now, of course, twilight is coming into our skies at the moment. But I was taking all these pictures. The sky was getting a bit darker, but wasn't seeing anything, even though we had a red alert. I should be able to pick something up of the Aurora. It would be great if I could get that shot over there with the service station and the light trail. I did get some nice shots, actually, in the crescent moon as well. So that's looking not quite north. I would probably say m more towards the north, northwest. But when I turned round towards the east, that was when I saw the sky light up. Oh my goodness, and that, where we're looking now, that way, that is towards the east, and that's where I first saw the aurora, oh my goodness. I'll tell you what now, I'm just going to take my camera, and I'm going to show you the view, let's go and check out the view now, I'm going to show you overhead as well, because it is right overhead at the moment, absolutely amazing. Now you're going to have to excuse the traffic noise because I am above a busy motorway and we're looking towards the Fortin Services at Lancaster. We can see the crescent moon over there going down and <laughs> if I turn the camera around, <laughs> what do we see here? That's my star bus just over there by the way with the lights on just by the side of the road. Look at this! It's the Aurora Borealis and it's straight overhead. Oh my God, just look at that. That is insane. Wow. Doesn't that look absolutely amazing? So we're now looking towards the south. And in the UK, you're not supposed to see the aurora looking south because it doesn't really appear in that part of the sky. Sorry about the traffic noise, it's really busy. But look at that, there it is. All the way to the other side, we've got a purple, we've got green. I can actually see, I can actually see the colour, folks. I can actually see the colours. Well, how about that? Absolutely amazing. You're going to have to uh, excuse me for this very hastily put together video because I wasn't even thinking of doing a video. In fact, I wasn't even that confident that we were going to see the aurora. But a couple of days ago, they did forecast that there was going to be a very, very strong storm. We have multiple CMEs coming in and the forecast was to be one of the highest that we'd ever seen. Um, and there you go. Everything seemed to come together. The the day, because it's a Friday, so we're at the weekend, so a lot of people probably have more time to come out and have a look. Uh, here we've got beautifully clear skies here in Lancashire. It cleared up nicely. That's it. That's uh, this is the motorway behind me now. We're looking sort of towards the north there. 
and this is the shot that I had lined up. I wanted to get a picture, and you saw the pictures I took earlier. They do actually look pretty good, those pictures. And you know, funny enough, I couldn't get me Aurora shot. I did take one picture with a little bit of the Aurora on it. I'll just put that on the screen now. A very, very faint Aurora, but as you can see on this picture now, you can see there is Aurora. That's looking towards the north, 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 where we're supposed to see it down here in the UK. We don't expect to see the Aurora overhead, but when I turned to the right and I looked that way over there, I could not believe my eyes. I could see the Aurora lighting up the whole sky and even see the colours. I could see the greens, I could see the purples. It's absolutely amazing. And it's still going off right now. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can see. Can you see that? Look at that. It's still going off. And if I turn this way, look, look. And if I go overhead, look, look. Look at that, it's overhead. Oh my God, look. That is absolute. I'm pointing the camera straight up now, folks. Look at that. I'm just gonna put a quick time lapse on now that I took earlier of the Aurora overhead. I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit. Oh my goodness, it looks absolutely epic, check this out. What about that folks? Well it all came good. Everything seemed to come right. The storm hit just as predicted. They did say that this first part of the storm would hit on the Friday and it did. It actually started at about 6pm our time which meant it was still far too light. The sun hadn't set. The sun does not set at the moment until about after half past eight. So we had to wait. I had to wait until I came out here, it was half past ten, half past ten, and the sky was still bright. And there was me taking pictures looking that way, and I wasn't getting anything. But when I turned towards my right, towards the east, that's when I saw it. And I just could not believe it. I mean, I have never ever that this display tonight is just off the scale. There is, I, I have never, I don't know if any other display has been that strong in this country before but certainly what I've seen tonight is equal to what you would get up in Iceland, up in Norway, um, Lapland, all that sort of anywhere up to Canada. What we had tonight was the sort of thing that they get more regularly and don't forget I didn't well actually I didn't mention that we've actually got the peak of the solar cycle at the moment the sun is pretty much at its peak. I think it's later this year when it reaches its peak. There's massive sunspots on the sun at the moment. And all that goes to creating these auroras because it's when that material gets thrown off from these ejections, from those sunspots, from those regions where the sunspots are. It throws out that material. It interacts with our magnetic field. And if everything else comes together, the, the polarity, of the magnetic field and also we need to have the good weather and all that stuff there's so many things that need to come together so that we can see the aurora but did we get it tonight well we certainly did and when i head away from here i'm going to go somewhere else uh, if they get any pictures i'll put them on the end of this video but i'm going to leave it there folks because that was just absolutely epic what do you think to that an amazing aurora over the uk overhead absolutely stunning I'll probably just leave you with uh, a bit of a time lapse if I don't get any more pictures, but there you go. Uh, there's some people arriving now, there's people coming here now to take pictures, and uh, there you go. There's, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> there must be a lot of people out tonight, but there you go. That We got it, we got the Aurora. I had to make the effort to come out. I was not, you know, earlier on today, I was not looking forward. I was so tired. I've been working the last couple of days and I didn't really want to come out but I came out and I'm so glad I did because I got an epic aurora display the best I've ever seen. Anyway, I hope you liked this video and uh, I'll leave you with some pictures and a time lapse and don't forget to keep looking up. <laughs>